Well, it's uh, uh, unexpected. Uh, it's actually one of the uh, uh, representatives of your state in Abuja that you know you can uh, vouch for his interest for the development of uh, this uh, state. Uh, we're constantly talking, even though uh, we're of a different. Uh, uh, you know, uh, political uh, party affiliation. Uh, I can only pray for the family, uh, for strength, and for all of us uh, that are left behind, you know, uh, to be able to bear this uh, loss. A very sad day for Ibadan, or your state, and Nigeria as a whole. Um, we have lost a very hard-working representative. Someone who believes in the unity of this country and someone who, by his actions, has done well for not just himself, not just his family, not just his community, not just the state, but the entire nation. We have lost um, a person who has been a mentor to a lot of people in the National Assembly. It's a very painful day, it's a dark day, for Nigeria and um, all we can do at this point is just to pray for the repose of his soul. As far as lessons learned, um, I think um, the most important lesson learned at this point is um, uh, we should all be our brother's keeper. Uh, we should feel the pain for one another and um, an injury or loss to one is an injury or loss to all. You know, I think um, this is just a very sad moment for all of us and um, you know, um, for those of us who are in our, our midlife, so to say, you know, I think um, we all have to make sure that uh, we take our health very importantly. Health is very important. Health, they say, is wealth. And um, so many things and so many places we want to be um, in the course of work or in the course of um, paying attention to family and other things. And um, uh, we're just one, it's just one person, you know, so... Um, um, I think health should come first, you know, um, being alive is the only way we can do things for this nation. And I just pray to God that um, um, the Lord continue to um, strengthen those of us that miss him daily. And um, the vacuum he has left, I can tell you, would not be easily filled. I met with a Prince in the Ninth Assembly and he was fun to work with someone who was very patriotic, very hardworking, an astute and sound legislator par excellence. He always made efforts to bring notable dividends of democracy to his Ibadro Central federal constituency. Uh, it's so unfortunate that I will refer to him in the past. I draw from this a lesson that life indeed is transient, and that one needs to live a life worthy of emulation such that the good works you have done will even live after you have uh, long gone. We are here today at the airport to join teaming supporters and members of the House of Representatives led by Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, our uh, speaker, to receive the body of our colleague, who, sad passing, we found out today. This is really painful. And you can see the array of members you have seen here, female members, male uh, members cut across the diverse uh, geopolitical zones. Because of the person he represents, uh, I just pray that God grants him eternal rest and uh, give the family the fortitude to bear this loss. This is also a big lesson to legislators, the pressure of work and finding a balance between work and the pressure that come from the work itself and pressure from constituencies and constituents and meeting the needs of the time. This is a wake up call for legislators to really strike a balance. And I pray that God in these trying times provide such an opportunity, even at a time when Nigerians need the input and support and contribution of legislators the most. 
I, I want to thank the Speaker, House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, once more for responding promptly to this uh, very uh, loss we have all uh, been hit with. I am short of words.